And he would take off running with that nugget and squealing and hollering like it's the corn crop of the world. And half those pigs would leave that slob to go after that nubbin in that pig's mouth. Carrot, I see that every day. But the exodus leaves out of here and goes to Nashville. But the exodus, we have every church to think of in this area, but they all want to run the big church. They all want to run the big church. You know why they hide there? No one knows how to live. No one knows how to go to care. But they're like people with nothingness. And Jesus was carrying the real thing. He was carrying the real thing. He was involved in development. He was involved with commitment. I'm going to tell you Brother Green's story. He always talks about his family. I'm going to talk about the chicken and pig. How many of you ever heard about the chicken and the pig? And the chicken said to the pig, let's have breakfast. That's good. Thing. Now, breakfast for the chicken was commitment. For the pig, it was commitment. For the chicken, it was involvement. The chicken laid an egg, he was involved. But the pig was committed. It's not that I hate ruining a good joke. Hate the ruin. So, the chicken had involvement. We can get involved. But brother, sister, when you have the type of ministry that Jesus had, and you care about people that Jesus cared about, and you go out of your way to go to Samaria, and you're there in the heat of the day, and there's a woman that's not even loved by anybody, even a Samaritan, and you're there to infect her life, you are not involved. You're committed. How long has it been since we, the church of God, have been committed to anything? His call to service. John 15, 16. I have not, you have not called me, but I have called you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. Listen to this. You have not chosen me. But it makes me feel good to know that God has chosen me. You have not chosen me, I have chosen you. And I have ordained you to go and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit should remain. And then it says, whatsoever you ask the Father, it may be done. After you've done the work. After you've been committed. After you've said yes to God. Can you say amen? I'm going to try to draw a whole page down to, to nothing. Dr. Hero used to tell me to the Zion Bible Institute, which is now Zion Bible College. Dr. Hero was a black man. He, like the pastor, was born deaf and blind, and at four years of age, God healed him also in a small, little, tiny, black country church. See, God doesn't care what you look like on the outside. God doesn't care what you have. God cares what's in the heart. And Dr. Hebrew said this, if you do not love the ministry, leave it. Is that fair enough? If you don't love it, leave it. Because if you don't love it, you're going to have wavering. And you're young today, up today, down tomorrow, up today, down tomorrow. But if you love it like Jesus did, Jesus said, I must please go through Samaria. So we let our lives shine. We agonize over the lost. We agonize over the lost. I want you guys just to look at this. Take that and give it a that. That's, I've never seen that picture before. That man has a nail in his hand, a mallet in his hand. He's there to crucify Jesus by his life. But Christ has grabbed him and said, I won't let you go. I've got to close. Do people feel your heart? Do people feel what you feel? Do they buy what you're selling? Or are you hurrying for the church? Or are you bringing someone to Christ? You want to just come to mass? You want them to serve? He loves what he does. And Jesus attracts this woman to something regal. One man said, always go for the heart. 
Brother Green somebody told me way back, Brother Taylor told me way back in the past, he said, Ed, when you start preaching, he said, make them glad or make them mad or make them sorry. <laughs> make them mad or make them glad or make them sorry. Because we get the job done when we move people to action. Can you say that? Let's say that. I have a lot more to say. But I don't have time. Brother Green.